Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. We've got a brand new card to grind for from the Festival of Football Path to Glory promotion. It says 91 rated Christian Erickson, and he has five star weak foot, and you know that's worthy of the whopper button. Tell the crew to push the whopper button. I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way. I'm going to share with you some tips on how to dominate this challenge. But before we begin, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So first and foremost, for anyone who doesn't know, these are dynamic cards, and they're going to be based off of how Denmark performs in the Euro. So Denmark is in the same group as Belgium, Finland, and Russia. So if Denmark can win three matches in the Euros and first and second in the table make it to the round of 16, if Denmark wins three matches, then this Ericsson would be upgraded plus two. And that's where he would get really interesting. If he'd get to a 93 rated, he may really be a usable card in game. Where he is right now, I'd say he's mostly fodder, but could be fun to play with if you like Ericsson. But let's just go over what you need to do. First and foremost, far out finishing. Score five outside of the box goals in squad battles on minimum professional difficulty or rivals. Now, one thing I'll point out most all, well, all of these objectives are either in squad battles or rivals. So, if you're someone like me who doesn't play a ton of squad battles, but you do play rivals weekly, you'll be able to knock out a lot of this in rivals just from your normal course of events. But if you're someone, it's nice. If you're someone that doesn't like to play online, if you don't like to play rivals, don't like to play that online competitive stuff, then you can just knock this out completely in squad battles, which is pretty cool. This particular one, I would recommend knocking this out in squad battles. Outside of the box goals are so frustrating. This is one you want to look for, one of those squad battles matchups where they've got like a 70 rating with 55 chemistry, you know, something like that. Or sometimes you even can come across full bronze squads and squad battles. And that's kind of what you want to look for. You'll be able to bang in five outside of the box goals, no problem. You can do that all in one match and be done with this objective. So this is one I would 100% say it'd be much easier just to knock out on squad battles. The next one, four-star setup, assist in three separate squad battles matches on minimum world-class difficulty or rivals using a player with minimum four-star skill moves. Pretty much anybody usable at this stage has four-star skill moves. There's a few exceptions. Like I, I know I've got Moments Butragueno, who I don't even play with anymore, but he has three-star skill moves. So there's a couple rare exceptions, but most players we're using now have four-star skill moves. This is one that you would complete. Even It would just pop up objective complete, even if you didn't know this Erickson was out here, and you would get this one done just playing this week. Next one, successful seven. Score using Serie A players in seven separate squad battles wins on minimum world-class difficulty or rivals. So if you've got any Serie A players, like I know I, I just got team of the season Insigne from I think the 88 plus team of the season. If you've got CR7, if you've got... Uh, who else do people play with from Serie A? If you've got that Lozano team of the season. So if you've got players already in your main rival squad from Serie A, you may not have to force this one. You'll just get it from playing rivals. But if you're not someone who has Serie A players, you may need to knock this out in squad battles. But this is one of the grinds, but our main grind is this one. Crucial Cam. Assist with a through ball, and through ball is the Y button on Xbox, triangle on PlayStation, using cams. And keep in mind, that's what's on the card before you go into the match. It doesn't matter if you have a center back and then you happen to play him at cam in game. It's what's on the card. For ex example, Erickson right there has a cam on his card before going into the match. Now, if you position modified him to striker, he is no longer a cam according to this. So it's what's on the card before you go to the match. So assist with the through ball using cams and 13 separate squad battles matches. So it's a bit of a grind, but that's why we're going to go over some of the easiest ways to get this done. Before we're going to actually go into a match, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to beat squad battles matches on world-class difficulty so you can dominate those. But I want to point out one thing real quick. I'm always, I'm always telling you guys, try to knock out as many objectives, combine them as possible. I am still working on a couple milestones objectives from Silver Sensation. So I'm going to start my match with a silver squad, and any of you who have been grinding any of the silver stars throughout the year makes it a lot easier, but I still need to win six more matches with... So if I win six more matches, I'll get a rare players pack, and I've still 
41 matches away from this one, but we're grinding, we're grinding, we're grinding. So we're still working towards this one. And once we get all these done, we'll have a rare players pack, a rare mega pack, and a jumbo rare players pack. So if you're someone who hasn't gotten some of these done, maybe you want to start off with 11 silver players. So that's what we're going to do for our world-class difficulty. And I'm also still working on this one, 200 rare battles. So make sure it's 11 rare silver players. And if you've got any of those team of the weeks or any of those special silver cards, they count as rares as well. So we're working on this one to also get an ultimate pack. So if you can knock out any of these, maybe take a look at some of the milestones objectives, see if there's anything you're missing and try to get those knocked out at the same time. But let's go and take a look at squad battles and I'll share with you some tips and tricks on beating world-class squad battles. All right, I refreshed my opponents a couple times for squad battles just to show you guys this is a perfect example of a squad you should face to knock out that outside the box challenge. It's a 65 rated squad with 50 chemistry. It'll be very easy to score on them on any difficulty. So if you need those outside the box goals, look for a squad like this. So th that would be perfect. But as far as giving you some tips, let's just see. Let let's start here. This is a perfect one. 81 rating with 100 chemistry. Pretty solid squad overall, so I can share with you some ideas if you're having any trouble on beating world-class difficulty. All right, let's go into the match here. World-class difficulty is selected already, so that's what we want. That's what we need. And as I mentioned, we're going to go into this with a full silver squad. So I've got several of these Brazilians that we completed. There was also this Jao Pedro. If you've completed any of those silver stars, it's going to make this a lot easier. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this. You can take your main team, but I'm just trying to grind for those other objectives at the same time. But we want to make sure we're set up for, for success before we go into the match. So Romarino is our cam. He is already listed as a cam. So he is who we're going to look to be making a through ball assist with. So Romarino is going to be very important. We also need to make sure we have a Serie A goal scorer. We have this Wallace card here. But I've also put my Lorenzo Insigne team of the season on the bench. So once we start off, I will sub on, sub on Insigne. And that will still meet the silver objective because you only have to start the match with 11 silver players in the starting squad. But let's just get into it. And for anyone who doesn't know, chemistry does play a role in squad battle. So we're playing a team with 100 chemistry, which means they will get their chem boost. So that makes it a little bit harder. If you're having any difficulty, you may want to just keep refreshing opponents until you have someone with much worse chemistry. And let's just start off with the first tip. I recommend a pretty attacking formation against the AI. It makes it a lot easier to score on them. So if you're having any difficulty, this I'm running right now is a 3-5-2 formation. I like using that as well, even in rivals, even in foot champs. But I've set it up to be a little more attacking than what I would use in even rivals or foot champs. So we're going to have people on getting behind. We're going to have people making runs. But we're still going to have that group of three defenders at the back to kind of just make sure we can, can defend against the AI. The AI isn't really going to spam through balls the way that your online opponents you face are. They're going to attack you in different ways. So you're really not going to be exposed at all. But, it, and the other thing, if the guy that you want to make your through ball, I'm going to want him to be one of my strikers or one of my attacking triangle. So I'm going to put Romarino right there. That's one of my strikers. So I can definitely make sure to get a through ball assist. Let's bring on Insigne so we can get that Serie A goal. And then I'll sub on my, sub on my, my main man right back down in that position. So we are set up, ready to go. Let's get into it. And as you start the match, one of the main things is just to kind of go a little calm at first. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the game to open up, but there you can see the runners were getting all ready, playing this more attacking formation. So we'll go ahead. We've got an early free kick. We'll, we have Insigne lined up over the ball. Let's see if we can get this one. This would also count as an outside-the-box goal. And there we go, Insigne in three minutes. So we've already got a Serie A goal. And we've added in for an extra bonus, which I was planning on doing that against one of the weaker teams. We've already got an outside-the-box goal, so that is perfect. And outside-the-box goals are free kicks. You know, our free kicks are going to be outside the box, obviously, so they are going to count as outside-the-box goals. So Insigne banging one in for us, already taking care of some objectives early on. And that's going to kind of go into one of my early tips 
getting an early lead helps a lot against the AI. If you fall behind against the AI early, they sometimes can clamp down defensively on you and make it a little bit harder to score. But if you can get an early lead, so try to stay patient at first. So if you're having any trouble beating a world-class difficulty, just try to stay patient. Be cautious with the ball. That's one thing I always tell people to look for. You, you know, look at your passing accuracy. If you're if you're struggling and your passing accuracy is at like 85%, try to get that up to at least 90%. That's that's showing that you're taking care of the ball. You're not losing it. You're not giving up unnecessary possessions to to the to your opponent. So that's always one big thing to look for if you're having any trouble. Look at your pass accuracy. Now, defensively, you can be pretty aggressive against the AI. The only problem is if, if you play a lot of squad battles and then you try to play an online opponent and you try to be that aggressive, it's not really going to work out for you. But I try to play really aggressive, like running at my opponents. It's not a good defending for like, if you're playing a real person opponent. But against the AI, it works really well to be aggressive defensively. And so there, we just scored another goal. I also at the beginning, if you can get a big lead, it makes it a little bit easier as well. It opens things up more and more and more as you score. So sometimes even though we, one thing we still have to get because our main grind is a through ball with a cam, I'm not focusing on that quite yet. I'm trying to open it up a little bit more. So if I can get a few goals already, that's just going to open up, make it even easier to do some of that other stuff that, that we need to take, take care of. And there we go. We get another one. That, that should count as my through ball with uh, Romarino, who is our can. Let's take a look at the replay real quick. That is one thing I do like about squad battle. So we did get it over to Romarino. I hit the through ball button, even though that's not a traditional through ball, you know, where you're leading the, your attacker and they're running onto it. It's still pretty much as long as you hit the through ball button and then you score then that's going to be a through ball assist. Now, I usually try to do at least two to make sure because EA can be really screwy with how they track things, but things are already going really well for us early on. So we've got the 3-0 lead early. And I'm like I said, I'm going to try to get at least one more one more assist with a cam just to make sure that, that we're safe. Now that you've hit all of your objectives you need for Ericsson, let's talk about doing this without wanting to rip your hair out. Squad battles can be painful, but there is a glitch that you can do, and I've got that set up right here. This is actually from another match. Sometimes it seems to work perfectly like it is right now, and sometimes it doesn't work exactly right. But basically what you do is you dribble the ball, just left stick dribble, don't be excited accelerating or sprinting I should say dribble the ball into the box just barely hit the LT or L2 you know kind of the shield button then immediately dribble about two yards out or a couple yards out to where you see my my attacker is right now hit the LT L2 again to shield it and you'll just see there the defender will just keep running at him and running at him and running at him and this runs the time out nicely the other thing you can do is just score a bunch of goals in the first half set your controller down typically that works out just fine but just wanted to point this out that this is something you can do to kind of glitch the system a little bit make it just a little more bearable overall but let's take a look let's see how our objectives for Ericsson are working out now. So now we're back here at Ericsson, far out finishing. We did get one more outside the box goal from that free kick from Insigne. We assisted. We only need to do this and one more assist. Like I said, this was probably the easiest one that you would do without even noticing. Successful seven. We scored with a Serie A player. We scored with Insigne multiple times. And then there we go. Another through ball with the cam. So we're up to two out of 13 on that one. We'll just keep grinding. You have the rest of the season, which is the full week. So just work at this a little bit each day and you'll get this knocked out. You'll have that Ericsson into your squad. But this is going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Check the description. Join my Discord server. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.